everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve very simple layering and highlighting effects using specific mystery items which are <laughs> makeup sponges so these are two different types of makeup sponges this one is called a beauty blender and it is typically used to apply makeup to your face but it works really really well on miniatures and then this other one is just a regular makeup sponge. You can buy these pretty cheap and in bulk. And they're really good because you can cut them up to be any shape you want and apply them in any way that you want. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I use this facial exfoliator to achieve a weathering look on my models. Okay, so we're starting with the Beauty Blender. This is really good, like I said, for applying color to large surface areas. And this is one of my old Drukhari vehicles. Sadly, this is an old, long time ago. I have not painted any Drukhari in a while. But you can see that I am just using it to apply layers and layers of coverage. And because the um, brush, I mean the sponge, cannot get into the deep cracks, it creates a natural layering effect that results in a creamy blend without using an airbrush. I do go over the high parts with lighter and lighter shades and cover less and less surface area each time so it kind of pulls those colors out and I do do a slight edge highlighting like you can see here on this Venom. I did a sponge type of smoky edge highlight on this just to draw attention to the shape of it. And I think the overall effect was really nice. This whole thing, besides like the little details on it, took about 15 or 20 minutes, so it was pretty quick. Okay, we're moving on to the second type of brush. This is really good to use when you have multiple high points that you're trying to pull up at the same time. Like on this vomit here on my um, flesh construct. So I wanted all the tips to be yellow. I did do a bit of layering with a smaller sponge before this. So this is just the final coat that you're seeing here is that bright, bright yellow on all the tips. And look how fast that was. I know I speed up the clip, but even without that effect, so, so quick and the blends look so good. Um, this is Dr. McMorney and I have cut my sponge to be very narrow for this one because he is a small little model. And I'm just going on and pushing some of the white onto the edge to create that nice type of clean but highlighted glow effect. It's very subtle because the drapes on his gown are very subtle. Okay, weathering. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. The texture of this exfoliating sponge is perfect for putting quick weathering looks um, effects on your models. So this is my one of my walkers from Legion and I'm just taking a dark brownie gray color and I'm just applying it. I hope you can see it is very subtle. You can layer it as much as you want so that it looks as weathered as you want it to look. But I like a subtle look because I don't want it to look too weathered and then you miss out on seeing like all the hard work that I put into actually painting it. So I'm just going on and putting these flecks of color on here. You don't need to be super careful, you just go in and the, the sponge um, really does the work for you. So yeah, I think it's a nice natural weathered look. I'm going to show you my Achilles Ridge Runner that I did the same thing with. So I weathered it a bit. And it works great if you paint like a decal on a vehicle like I did with this Jane Stiller Colts logo. Then you go in with the exfoliating brush with the same color that you base coated and it kind of gives that chipped paint look. You can see it here on my caution tape little um, decal on the side of this vehicle. I just went ahead and went in with the same base coat color and that's it. Alright guys, thank you!